Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to set up a server on MX Simulator. Uh, so you just go to the MX Simulator homepage, go to the forum, and then you go to general discussion. And in general discussion, you're supposed to find MX server and some some name uh, date. So you go into the latest one, uh, and you want to download the zip file so it will download <coughs> um, so and then we want to show it in the folder can put that one down uh, here we have mx server yeah uh, 2013 12 12.05 so I usually take extract here. I don't know. I just prefer that one. And I'm going to name it MX Server One because I already have one MX Server onto my desktop. So I'll cut this and paste. So uh, finish on that one. So here we have the track info folder. Uh, we have an MX server file, MX server readme run orgs, no, run server server orgs and upload results. Uh, readme file, it's readme and um, it is um, some commands you can have here set. So I'll show. A little bit soon. Um, the first thing you want to do is open up server server args, server orgs, so whatever. So port nineteen eight hundred, and um, if you want to play online with friends and they so they can access your server, you'll need to have port forwarding, and you just just go to Google and search for uh, router name model so port for what so just search for a router name model and port forward you'll probably get some tutorial up and what you want to do is you want to make an exception in the firewall so and it should be on UDP ex uh, you want to create a UDP exception uh, 19800 is uh, pretty much a free port, so it doesn't have anything else on it, uh, and it's the kind of the standard port in the game. So I prefer to use this one, but of course you can have more or server more ports or other ports too. Uh, and then when I had made the exception, I kind of had to go in and kind of add the exception. So it was like it was great. I then had to click something. Add so it got activated, but that may be my router. So when you've done it, you want to go to the server orgs file, choose the port you have set here. Labs, how many labs you want to have on the server? It's just to type in anything, whatever you want. Let's say five. Uh, track in the wall. Uh, this is uh, if you say to zero. Uh, there will be no time before the track changes. So, because when you change the track, you will request a restart. And what happens then is, if you set this one, for example, 10 minutes, if Alcrest has only been played for 8 minutes, then you will have 2 minutes left. And that means that it will pay, play I'll press for two more minutes until it sets the next one for Q. So when th this one was run out, it changes to a new track, and I usually like to have it on perhaps five, so it changes after every race. But as well as if anyone of my friends loads the wrong bike or something, he can reload the bike. And I usually have like eight laps for uh, Supercross and five for Nationals, kind of. So five. 
delete everything necessary. Results file we have here. Greeting, I usually just have swag. So it will say uh, we can have welcome to swag. So the welcome message will be welcome to swag when you load the server. Also, if you want to have an admin, you will have to type admin and the UID. Mine is 7250, so I've set myself as admin. And you can have more admins, so let's say that would be an UID. You could use that one. So that's already uh, time to launch the server. And you're doing that by dragging the server args file to run server and you want to run it and here you want to type in your UID so you become kind of the admin here you can see server started so if I go to MX simulator can open up um, go to the server you can see that's the IP I have let it load and we'll see it should be Alcrest on the server So it was quite loud. So you can see the server is working. It says welcome to swag and everything. So you can see the server is up and running. Uh, if you want to, you can type in server list tracks. And that shows all the tracks that's on the server. Uh, if you want to choose one of the tracks, we can type in server set track. And then let's say we want to play. Ridge Riders would have seven. So when we change the request restart, it will change the track. And as you can see, the one that's loaded now it's Ridge Riders. But it's not so fun to play the stock tracks perhaps, so let's say you want to play any other supercross or something on your server. So we're just going to open up the 2014 Supercross will be good. So this is the Supercross and to be able to put the track up onto the server you'll need you'll need to have a track info file and you will get that one by typing save track info. So go to the track you want to have Type in sa slash save track info. That will save the track info. Uh, then you can exit the game. You can do this for as many tracks as, as you want to. Uh, I'm just going to close down the server like that. Um, go into the personal folder. And here you can see uh, we have 2014 SX track 1 Anaheim. Uh, dot track info. We'll copy that file to our server. Paste it in the track info folder. Paste. Then I will copy the name. So the track name. Dot track info. Uh, go back to the server orgs file, and I will type in track info slash name and if you just have the name of the track it says to add dot track info and let's say I don't want to play any of these tracks I can just simply remove them and save the file save um, like that and then we can open up the server again uh, 7250 as UID and note that this file must be named server args uh, we could copy and paste one and say we want to have this one at 10 laps save that one and we name it to server args 2 and or so like that server args 1 2 I'm a mess. Server 2 and if you try to load that one onto the run server, 
it will still load this one because that the, that is the correct name. So you'll have to rename this one to server args town on. Don't name this to server args so they can of change place. Uh, a little bit tricky, but it's very simple once you've got a hold of it. So we'll see again if the server works with the 2014 Supercross track. And as we can see, we have the Welcome to Swag, 5 laps, key verified, I connected. And uh, we have the 2014 Supercross track. So that's good. And we can also type in server list players and that you can see one slot UID status status player gate 11 down blah 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 number 959 name storken that's my name and one phone okay so let's say we want to start on the inside uh, instead of in the middle we can type in server comma gate and then um, the number of the gate position we want to and I can have 1. Your gate preference is now set to 1, which means that uh, it will try to uh, set my bike all the way into the edge of the line. So you can see I start on the uh, first gate. Let's say I want to have 17. Try again. You can see I'm all the way out to the right. If we want to kick someone, we'll have first have to go to server list players, and we can see slot zero. That's the one we want to kick. Uh, it's just me, so I'll probably be disconnected. But I want to kick myself, for example, server, comma kick, and the slot number zero. And now you can see disconnecting, disconnected, and it also says you have been black flagged, and that's how you kick someone from the server. So that's some basics running a server and how to set it up and tracking for files won't work if they have a space in them so if the tracking file looks like we'll see here uh, good track dot track info it won't work so it needs to have something here but I don't know if an underline or something fixes that, but it tracks with space doesn't work. So I hope I covered pretty much everything. So you will have to port for a while a UDP port to be able to play. Then it's just to type in the uh, IP address and comma colon or whatever it's called the port number as usual. So that's how you run a server. It's really simple. So I just want to show you some last things. Uh, dash dash admin sets the admin. Dash dash marshal sets the marshal. Uh, and then you need, of course need a UID after these ones. This is just a random I put in. Could be anything. So yeah. Just a UID. Um, also we have inactivity timeout. This is uh, measured in seconds so in this case if a player hasn't been active for 15 minutes or 900 seconds it he will be disconnected um, the also 900 seconds is by default so in case you 15 minutes is good to you you won't need to change it and no arcade me does that you can't race with arcade physics which is it which is really sweet in my opinion to not race in it I mean and this is in the server args file uh, and more command stands here in the readme file a really lot of things so it's really good to read this one if you wonder anything about any command pretty much anything stands here so that is how you run a server pretty much uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, request or post any questions if you have anything to say and uh, I hope you had a great time and learned something so see you in the future